Paul Harrell. Weekdays from 4 to 6. Learn more at paulharrell.com. Let's start by going to the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Headline here, state's revenue falls short of forecast. Can we show that to the audience who are listening online, Facebook Live, YouTube? Uh, state's revenue below forecast, August total 5.4 million less than in same month last year. Now, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna keep referring back to this headline. State's revenue falls short. Okay. Now the one I have, the one that was actually printed in the paper, sometimes they do this. Um how many people how many people think read the online versus the actual uh, tangible corporeal version? I don't know. I think more people probably are going to see this headline. The headline that I have in front of me that's on the paper is state's revenue falls short. That's it. The one online, the one that you're seeing, state's revenue below forecast, August total 5.4 million less than in same month last year. It's still conveying essentially the same thing. But if you start reading this, you'll find quickly that something um I don't know. There's something interesting about talking about how the state's revenue is falling short when, in fact, we're having record revenue. So that would actually mean something different. That would actually mean that your revenue projections are wrong. Now, we can go to a flashback a couple of weeks ago where Duncan Baird actually got the budget director for the governor, actually got a massive increase in salary. And, of course, we his job is to forecast the budget. He got this increase in salary after he failed to project the budget accurately, which caused the governor to have to cut $113 million in total from last fiscal year and this fiscal year. And then they said we have a revenue problem, not a spending problem. They were very key to point that out, by the way. They didn't say we have a revenue problem, not a spending problem, by the way, because they were responding. This was breaking news. No, they know who you are. They said we have a revenue problem, not a spending problem, because they know the criticism. They're trying to get out in front of the criticism. Listen to this. Arkansas's total general revenue, the second paragraph, Arkansas's total general general revenue collection of $468.2 million last month also fell $500,000 short of expectations. However, after revenue in July set a record for the first month of the fiscal year, state agencies will have more cash available than expected so far in fiscal 2018. Stop. Again. Headline is state's revenue falls short, but if you dig into the actual second paragraph here, you, you find out that they have record. July set a record for revenue. Well, that's weird. That means that it's their revenue projections that are off. And you know what? That would mean that we're actually spending too much money. If, you're, if the government is getting record revenue and it's still falling below projections how does that not indict the republican majority the leadership that refuses to to stand up to the governor and it also it exposes governor hutchinson as being somebody who has spent money this guy has increased spending the the three times that he's been three years he's been here 133 million dollars 142 million dollars and now 170 million dollars that's how much he's increased spending here folks it's almost uh, half a billion dollars. Now, keep going down. They, they do talk about uh, income tax collection is down for individuals and corporations. I was amazed. Well, not really amazed, but uh, I definitely took note of how many times they talked about how the sales tax projections in this article were actually down. The sales tax uh, projections. Um. Hang on one second. Here we go. Um, the, the widest gap compared with expectations for August came from sales and use taxes, which at $200.4 million fell $4.7 million below the projection from the Department of Finance and Administration. Okay, they, they repeat this a lot. And this is because, of course, they want more taxes. They, wanna, uh, they want the Internet sales tax, and we've debunked that argument a million times. But scroll down a couple more paragraphs, and you find that this quote, however, sales and use tax revenue 
was $200,000 higher this August. So we actually are, again, seeing record revenues. And again, what was the headline? States revenue falls short of forecast. I mean, what, what, come on. It, it, would it really be a biased headline if you said, in spite of record revenue, states forecast falls short? Wouldn't that be the headline that kind of sums up and indicts a lot of these people here? Let me ask you this. Do you think it's possible that the Republicans who are in leadership, who are proving themselves to be very reliable progressives, do you think it's possible that they are projecting so high, so unrealistic expectations, so as to show the need for more sales taxes and more taxes? Do you think that's possible? The article goes on. Combining the first two months of the fiscal year, Arkansas has collected $10.8 million more than officials first projected despite sales and use tax collections that were below the mark twice. Again, $10.8 million more than officials first projected. And yet the headline is that we're missing revenue projections. Not that we're having record revenues. It's interesting. And notice how Asa Hutchinson, the quote here, he actually really kind of ignores the fact that they have record revenues. No surprise. Uh, the newspaper here, the Demgaz, quotes him as being optimistic about Tuesday's report. Quote, this report reflects the overall strength and growth of the state's economy, Hutchinson said in a statement. The two-month revenue picture is above forecast but the continued sluggishness of sales tax collections bears watching. That's Governor Asa Hutchinson. Now, I want to remind you, why is the governor focused on the sales tax collections? Now, keep in mind, Amazon has voluntarily been collecting sales taxes. But I want to take you to a flashback. We have cities all across this state who are now listening to the lobbying arm for government, the Municipal League. The Municipal League is asking city governments, in many cases, to go against the state representatives that represent the same constituency and asking them to pass resolutions begging Governor Asa Hutchinson to call a special session and pass an Internet sales tax that was just defeated a few months ago by the good defense of real conservatives who were bucking the leadership of Asa Hutchinson who were bucking the leadership of House Speaker Jeremy Gillum, who were bucking the leadership of uh, folks like uh, uh, Speaker uh, Jonathan Dismang and Majority Leader Jim Hendren, who thought this was a good idea. Keep going in the article, because this is fascinating to me. It quotes Larry Walther of DFNA, and then towards the end, quote, but sales tax collection in August was mostly flat compared with the previous year, despite the addition of taxes that online retailer Amazon began voluntarily collecting in March. This article, you've got to know how to read between the lines, but this article is a, this is really interesting information here. I think it's being uh, somewhat misrepresented with the headline and the approach of the story, but I will say this. We are still short on sales tax collections, even though Amazon is voluntary collecting them, voluntarily collecting them. Now, what does that tell you? It confirms everything you've heard on this program about how we are actually in a budget crisis in this state. We are spending far too much money in this state. And the reason they proposed a new tire tax. They increased an old tire tax. Uh, they, they passed those tire taxes, by the way. The internet tax, the gas tax, the reason why they did the military retirement tax increase, which is now what we need to call it because it's a net tax increase. They cut taxes for military retirees, raised taxes on digital downloads, soda, and candy, and... We now know that that's no longer a wash. It was no longer neutral. It was no longer just some neutral shift. 
it was actually a net increase on the people of Arkansas. They were trying to find revenue everywhere they could from you and me because Asa has increased spending so much. And you see him mentioning the sales tax. It's, we need, it's concerning. We need to watch this. Isn't that nuts that their sales tax projections are not they're not hitting their mark even though Amazon is collecting the tax? Is that not crazy to you? I mean, if you've been listening to this show since we've been doing the live remotes down at the Marble Palace, doing all of this stuff, I mean, you know, the coverage, this has got to be shocking. That's why I kind of got conspiratorial thinking, are they setting their projections so high so there will be shortfalls? And then they, the media, of course, the lapdog media, the lapdog legislature, they can just start talking about how we've got to have more revenue from the people. The phone number to call us, Texas, 870-275-9799. Gosh, folks.